Dr. Phys, Theoretical Physics, uh, Section 3 and Chapter 0, Fourier Series, and we're going to see how to use the orthogonality relationship that we saw earlier to extract the coefficients here for a periodic wave. Well, here is our general formula, and we're going to start off by integrating f of x multiplied by sine of nx, and the inspiration for that comes from our previous section where we know we get zero unless the n equals m. So by doing that in here, we'll have uh, three integrals to do. We have the sine of nx in here with the a sub naught, and then we have in here the product with the sine of nx with the cosine of mx, and similarly here. Notice that I chose m here for my sum because if I multiply with the nx, with some trigonometric function, I have to make sure that we don't get confused on a summation index. These are being summed over, so if I use n here, I can't then use n to multiply in with. So I chose m here, and then multiply in with sine of nx, and there's no ambiguity here as to what's going on. So doing that, what do we get? Well, we get three integrals, but the neat thing about this last one is that we have shown you that this last one, you get zero, unless these are the same. And if n equals m, then you get pi. So we use that condition here, and it's the Kronecker delta symbol here, which means that when n is not equal to m, you get zero, but when n equals m, you get pi, and that will pull out the b sub n. Well, that would be nice if these uh, are also zero, and they are. And that's what you're asked to do here at the practice problem, and for uh, homework, you're going to be working on on some of these things to show that zero. Uh, can we uh, can we uh, perhaps guess that it's zero? Well, let's see. This is an odd function, and we're going over an even uh, region. Yep, that's zero. Uh, this is a uh, Feynman style here, right? No calculation. We're just looking at it. And here we have um, let's see, an odd function and an even function and we're going over an even region, yep, we're zero. So we just look at that, yep, we're finished. But there's practice problems for you to work out mathematically some details and, and look at that. But whenever you do a homework problem or a practice problem, if you can see something a la Feynman, by all means, write a sentence and say, hey, I'm not going to do the calculation because of this insight. And you're always allowed to do that, unless specifically on an exam you're asked to show a detailed calculation, then you have to you know, work it out. All right, so uh, that does the job, and when we uh, look at that, we get this beautiful result that we get these coefficients come out this fashion. Uh, by the way, I picked that a naught over 2 there for a reason. If we look at this integral here, practice problem, just integrate uh, here, uh, you get the a naught because what happens there is if you just integrate this thing, then here... Uh, you will integrate out, uh, this will be zero. Uh, you're asked to show show that. So that's a, a little assignment for you to do. And then since I wanted the results to look all the same, I redefine my coefficient uh, here in the front so that this looks cute. I want one over pi, one over, I, want, I want over pi for all three of these. So I have to make a sub naught over two in the front there to make this work. So there it is. That's the prescription for the Fourier series, and we'll do one in the next section. We'll do the square wave.